blessed to actually do what I love. It's my job to play and do my best. He is Singapore football's very own Captain Marvel. What a goal! Haris Harun! Haris Harun crossed the causeway to join Johor Darul Takzim in 2014 and has since established himself as the Malaysian Super League club's midfield linchpin and captain. It's a big, big honor. It's a big club. Expectations are very high. You have to be really, really ambitious to play for, for JDT. Oh! Three, two, one. Inheriting his passion for football from his father and uncle, Harris started playing football around the age of six. This hallway was a playground for me and my brother. This was just like the goalpost at the end of the the start of the hallway until the end of the hallway, right over there. We just play 1v1 here and uh, we try to to pretend like we were you know, stars of the Premier League. Like, you know, during back then it was like Thierry Henry, uh, one of my favourite players, Steven Gerrard. He has that interest and eagerness to play and have this fire in him. I think in P3 or P4, he says he wants to take football as a career. So I says, you got to study. After discussing with my wife and then we thought, why not? Then we sit down and talk to Ayn Haris and ask him, as parents, we will support you all the way. But it's your dream to be a professional footballer. You have to work. We only can support you. It's all in you. And he hasn't looked back since. In 2007, Haris made his SD debut with the Young Lions before going on to become Singapore's youngest international when he came on as a substitute in a friendly against North Korea. His exploits with the Lions 12, which saw him lift the MSL trophy in 2013, caught the eye of Tunku Ismail Sultan Ibrahim, the Crown Prince of Johor and chairman of JDT known as TMJ. I heard that the boss TMJ was interested and Fandi was the coach at that time, you know, they were really interested in bringing me over. So. I had to weigh my options. The offer from JDT was a no-brainer for me. Everything felt right for me. We go there, we fight for each other, and play, play hard and play well. Okay, let's go! Satu, dua, tiga, go! While the club have provided him with a house in Iskandar, Harris and his family are still based in Singapore. Drives across the causeway are very much a part of his routine. I have to always plan ahead, you know, to make sure that I'm on time and I get there safely. Most, most of the time, I'm alone. You know, my family comes like you know, when, when, during the weekends mostly. So normally, if I have match days, like tomorrow is my match day, so usually I will stay the day before and the day after. As a Singaporean occupying one of JDT's five foreign player slots, Harris knows he cannot let his standards slip. When you're a foreign player, and at that point of time, there's only four foreign players in the team, and only three could play at any one point of time, you know that you have to show that you are worthy of playing. Actually, when I joined the team, I was not in the first 11. Lucio Figueroa was playing and Pablo Aima was with us and Bai was also uh, in the team. And it was tough for me to compete against these big names, and, but that's what, uh, that's how I learned, you know. I just worked the hardest that I could and waited for my chance and my, my chance came eventually. He just brings uh, a lot of um, discipline and professionalism um, to the club and a lot of the younger players here have learned a lot from, from him. Every training session he's always the first one here, he's the last one to leave. He trains with, in, with a good intensity every time. He's just a, a perfect conduit between the, the top management and on top of that TMJ and to the, and to the players within the, within the club. Since Harris moved to JTT, the club have won the MSL title a record six straight times. He also became the first Singaporean to lift the Asian Football Confederation Cup in 2015. When you want to be a professional athlete, you have to live your life or take care of yourself in a certain way. I mean, of course, you can you can enjoy some junk food here and there a little bit. You know, you can have some late nights, but you know, it all depends on your priorities. When you have a game, you want to be in bed early. You know, take care of yourself, be make sure you're well rested. Well hydrated, you know, you eat well and be ready for the game. It's a lot of uh, dedication and selflessness. You put your team before yourself on and off the field as well. And sometimes, you know, you have to sacrifice sometimes family time, you know, sometimes your leisure time. These are things that, you know, you associate with professional because professional, you know, there's a certain standard that you have to live up to. Harris isn't the only one making sacrifices. His wife gave up her job as a human resource executive 
to become a full-time housewife to look after their children. I've always wanted to have a career of my own, but the um, situation is as such. Uh, it makes more sense for me to stay at home. Haris also told me that he feels more at ease knowing that when he's away, I am with the kids at home. Having to spend days, sometimes weeks, without him, with the kids, uh, it gets very hard sometimes. But my parents and in-laws are always helping me out, so I don't really feel that I'm alone in this. You have to be careful of how you, you manage the, the fame and you know everything and the attention that comes to, to you. The spotlight is on you. I was exposed at a very young age, but I had like, good people around me, my family, you know, my coaches. Over the years, I become more of a boring person. But I mean, that's the way I live my life. Uh, I try to you know, live my life according to what's best for my family as well as my career. Harris knows he cannot play on forever, but in the meantime, he will continue to forge ahead with JDT and the Singapore national team to build his football legacy. I think football is one sport that brings people of all races in Singapore together. And I hope that I can be an example where, you know, uh, the boys can say that, hey, you know, through hard work, through, through never giving up, you know, you can reach your destination or your goal at the end of it all.